Hello students, welcome to Shorosa's classes. In this video, I'll be solving questions from econometrics one after another. So let's get into the first question. It's a continuation from the last one where I've solved from 1 to 6. So this is from 7 I'm solving over here. Let me use a different color for this video. Okay. So they have said that mean value. So they have said that mean value of the estimated y of y hat what is the mean value of this remember that uh, whenever we are taking y equal to alpha plus beta xi plus ui the estimated value of these all structure so this is alpha xi ui so in this case the mean value of the estimated that is uh, y of oh, y bar hat by n is nothing but y of y bar okay so equal to the mean value of the actual structure so if we do this so the mean value hence uh, option number a is correct next one is summation of ui into ui hat and summation of ui hat into xi hat are what remember that into any uh, structural formation summation of ui hat into yi always equal to zero equal to ui hat that the estimated value of the product of ui and xi will also be zero they have to be equal and these two are zero so this one is a quite straight cut option number c is correct next one is question number nine they have asked that the mean value of ui conditional upon the given xi is uh, remember that the mean value of ui what we have uh, this is summation of ui equal to zero so summation of ui by n is zero by n so this is zero because estimated value so after all this estimation is expected value is so e of ui is zero so putting all these structures so the mean value of the ui condition upon the xi will be giving you zero so the option number c is correct next one is question number 10 so 10th question is uh, in classical linear regression model xi and ui are yes in classical linear regression model xi and ui are not at all correlated so the correlation coefficient in between xi and ui is zero so these are not at all correlated so this will be zero so option number d is correct next we are going for question number 11 homoscedasticity uh, refers to the error terms having constant variances so directly homoscedasticity means constant variances heteroscedasticity means variances are equal there is another similar type of problem that can happen in any regressional format that is called autocorrelation where the the two or three different uh, kind of column values have interrelated correlation as well okay next part is uh, question number 12 now the next question is one of the assumptions of CLRM classical linear regression model is that the values of the explanatory variable actually explanatory is part uh, there's a problem uh, here expanded variable so expanded variable uh, here the values are the values can have different sign maybe positive negative or zero so there is no restriction on the signs of this so not all the same will be a most appropriate answer next one to this is uh, in statistics standard error so in generally the formula of standard error is sd divided by root n normally so in statistics the standard error is a precision of an estimate yes it is actually a precision of an estimate because correlation between y and x it is not because y and x are not given specification of error of a model because no it's not because if n increases or decreases according to the standard error 
falls or rises and auto correlation in the regression model at all because auto correlation is the relation between the correlation values of the different columns so here the only possible option is a